Yes. Uh, so welcome everybody to this latest DevSkiller webinar um, called How to How Journey Group Save Seventy Thousand Dollars on Tech Skills Assessment. Uh, I'm very excited to welcome you all today, um, and a big shout out to our uh, partners at Journey Group for agreeing to do this webinar with us today. Now, before we begin, I've got a couple of quick housekeeping things to get through. Um, so first, first of all, there will be a Q&A session at the end. So please send in your questions, um, and we'll do our best to get to all of them at the end of the discussion. We'll also be sending you guys a recording link uh, on Friday this week, so keep an eye out for that recording link, and if you'd like to share it with your colleagues, or if you can't make it to the end of today's discussion, you can catch up with the rest of the webinar um, at a later date. And last but not least, uh, we will be sending you guys a post-webinar survey. So we'd really love it if you could take the time to fill that in. It'll probably take about two minutes. And something else that's not there, uh, we're working remotely. Uh, I'm in Sydney, Australia. George is, George is in Canada, uh, Toronto. So uh, in the unlikely event there is any technical difficulties, we just ask for your guys' patience while we, while we work that through. But that's not going to happen. So, yeah. Um, and yeah, so why don't we take a look at the agenda today, for today. Uh, we'll start off by having a look at the recruitment process at Journey Group before they decided to implement Talent Score. Um, then we'll be taking a look at the factors that led to the change. Uh, we'll also take a quick look at the key priorities for the development team um, at Journey Group, the, the IT team there. Have a look at the results. Um, we've also got some bonus tips from George, uh, which we'll get to towards the end. And yeah, as I mentioned at the beginning, there will be a Q&A. So you guys can fire in your questions at any time during, during today's discussion and we'll, we'll get to them at the end. Uh, yeah, so I think it's about time that I do introduce today's guest, George Safimis, uh, Senior Manager of Recruitment at Journey Group. So thanks very much for joining us, George. Can you uh, yeah, give us a few words about yourself? Yeah, yeah. So um, hello, everyone. Hopefully all is going well where, wherever you are in the world. Um, here in Canada, we're starting to look into spring. So everyone is, uh, is, is in a happy mode right now. Um, so I've been in recruiting for a uh, shoot over uh, since 2000. So a little over 20 years. So I've been at this for quite some time. Um, and here uh, I'm, just, I'm the senior manager of uh, recruiting at Jonah Group. It's a it's a smaller shop, a smaller software shop here in Toronto. Um, but uh, that's a little bit about me in terms of um, in terms of where I came from. Uh, Jonah Group itself is um, so. What we do here is we're uh, a software development shop. Uh, mainly, we have two different shops. We have a Java shop and a .NET shop. And uh, what we do is we provide custom software solutions to our clients, uh, work in a lot of different industries like um, insurance, auto finance, medical, and we do work with some of the, the larger banks here. Uh, when it comes to working with the larger banks, we do more on um, the consulting kind of work. So we'll, 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 get a, we'll gather a team of developers and kind of parachute them in and and like a SWAT team and help them out with their current application and then, and then pull them out. But, uh, um, you know, we're growing, which is great. And um, DevScaler has been helping us do this. So I'm, I'm glad to be here. Yeah, I think we'll, uh, I think we'll, we'll get into the, the, the growth of Journey Group for sure, like through today's uh, webinar. But yeah, thank you very much for that introduction. I, I forgot to mention myself. My name is Justin Lestel and I'm the marketing manager at DevScaler um, and I'll be, conducting today's webinar along with George. So thanks again, everybody for joining and thanks for that introduction, George. Um, so yeah, I thought we might start off today's webinar um, by taking a look at the recruitment process at Journey Group before you guys decided to implement talent scores. So could, could you take us through kind of how that looked and you know what your process looked like there? Certainly, this was about um, two and a half years ago because that's when I joined Jonah Group. And when I came in, it was, um, to be honest, it was quite archaic. Um, it was it was in-house testing. There was um, they they wanted people to have no internet connection, so we had people in a room uh, in the back. Um, they had to take time out of their day to come in to visit us in the office to to go inside, and then um, this was all being taken care of not by the recruitment team but by the development team. So. Um, there was there was an a, like there was an entire process when it came to them having to take time out of their day to do this because we were too busy recruiting at the time. 
and and that that recruiting it, itself was uh sourcing or, or like uh what do you mean there with the- yeah so in in our on our side on our side it was big because we had to keep looking for for candidates so yeah um you know we just we just kept going kept sourcing kept calling doing our head hunting calls and stuff like that um yeah so it would take time away from our day so productivity on our side um would have been would have been you know would have been not so good as well if uh if had we had to do that as well yeah for sure for sure um yeah all right uh so moving along we obviously the process as you mentioned like uh was was pretty outdated not far off pen and paper as we we had on the, the slide before so we kind of got to it a little bit there with with why perhaps you needed to make a change but can you take us through some of the other reasons that were kind of affecting the process and you know what absolutely what actually led you guys to making a change yeah so uh one of the times was um was maximizing our billable hours for our our developers because as i mentioned before the developers would have to go through this whole process whenever candidates would come in to uh to do the evaluation so once we you know, with with taking two, sometimes you know, three hours, depending on on how how long it took for the developer to even look at the the results afterwards, because a lot of the times they would have to sit back at their desk and do it right away. It took quite a bit of time. So what we wanted to do is we wanted to maximize billable hours on the on the developer side, which was very key in our business. We wanted to uh, we wanted something that was uh, to to increase the hiring scale on us, we needed, we needed a scalable process. So we needed something that we could as, cause as the, as a recruiting function, we knew that at some point the organization was going to need to expand rapidly, which is what we're doing right now. And, mm-hmm. you know, with the amount of people that we're trying to put through the funnel and the recruiting process, it would have been impossible for the development staff uh, well, it would have been possible, but we wouldn't have been making money because they would have been busy doing all these technical assessments instead of instead of doing the development. So we needed something scalable as well to help us out on the recruiting front. Uh, and, and, and we needed to cut the I, time to process I, as well. Yeah. Could, could I just ask you a quick point on that one about the scale? Like, could, could you give us a bit of an idea like about about the, the scale at the time or, or even? Uh, yeah, the scale at the it? time was, um, I would say. And again, it was because people had to come in and such. So it was a little bit difficult for individuals to come yeah. in and yeah, at the this, time this and stuff like that. Before, yeah, before but we're looking at like maybe, that. we get maybe two a week of technical yeah. assessments, right? Um, but it wasn't, it just wasn't feasible for, for what we were going to be doing, which is what we're doing now. Um, and it also, it also ties into cutting the time to process, right? Especially, especially high profile candidates. Right. We wanted to make sure it was easy for them and and we wanted them to have a more realistic testing environment. Also, something that they would have been or would be using in in the real workforce. Right. So um, let's be honest. um, A lot of developers do use Google. It's just the way it is. I even ask our developers. They do use it. So um, for us to not have that Internet access wasn't. I guess fair. I guess I'm doing air quotes. Fair in terms of yeah. what, what, how, and how quickly they can probably turn something over as well. Um, but the good thing is, is that you know. And again, I know we're going to talk about this later. We're going to touch about this later. But the good thing is because yeah. of the, because of the duplication and the the fraud the fraud checks that DevSkiller has, we were comfortable <laughs> with the fact that you know if they were to do something like that, it would be identified. So we weren't too concerned yeah. about that. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, yeah, I think it's, a, it's, you'd be pretty hard pressed to find the developer today that says that they don't use the internet in their, in their daily work. So 100%. why should that, how, why should that process in the recruitment process be any different to how they work in, in, in daily work for sure? Um, yeah, I think, I think one point that, that, uh, that we, we should, we should just make, make note of at this point, because we will be going through the results later on, um, in, in today's webinar, but, uh, as you know, the the uh, title of this webinar is how how you save uh, seventy thousand dollars, and and just I'd like people to keep note of that and and keep note of this um, billable hours of your of the developer's time at one hundred dollars per hour, and you said it could take one to even more than two hours per candidate yeah. to to assess. Yeah, yeah. So yeah, it um, all adds all right, up. So take, it all adds up. 
<laughs> yeah, certainly. And then especially in the business that you guys are in, you know, you guys are in consulting, you know, time is money. So that that's, uh, you know, obviously a key priority for you guys. Um, yeah, well, thanks for that. Let's, uh, we'll, we'll jump along. Um, now you're, uh, the senior manager of recruitment, um, at Jonah Group. Uh, so obviously you're talking from a perspective from HR and recruitment and stuff like that, but I'm sure there were some, you know, priorities and you know expectations from your development team obviously they were heavily involved in the process before as you said you know with the the in in-house assessment and stuff like that but when you guys came along the decision to make a change like what what stood out for them what was what were their sort of priorities like moving to, to make a change basically yeah so some of the some of the main priorities when i was speaking with the, not only the development team but the leadership team as well um were to, uh, first of all, to eliminate the the manual review of of looking at the at the uh, assessments, right? So yeah. uh, it was basic. It was essentially, you know, um, going through and just checking it and making sure. And 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 sometimes they even had like a um, they even had like on the design side they had like paper forms as well. So it was it was pretty archaic when you, when I think about it now, um, in terms of how we were doing things. And uh, that's what, why what, have, what do you, what do you mean by that one? So that the paper forms, are, that can you like are like like when they were doing design, like they wanted to they wanted to do some stuff. So it was on pen and paper, right? So okay, and you're you're talking about a guy here, and I guess everyone here who's in IT, who uh, yeah. I I I don't even look at a notebook anymore. Like I use one note for absolutely everything. So um, it's whenever I hear pen and paper uh, in an IT in an IT company it's just it just makes my head scratch so um and another thing that they were looking at was automatic scoring which of course would help eliminate some of the manual process um there was also the um the things that we're looking for were fewer disturbances or bottlenecks so in terms of you know did we have people available to do visit like the, the developers to do the to, to do the assessment maybe they were too busy so these were bottlenecks in the recruiting process on our side as well um that we didn't want to do and then of course we wanted to maximize productivity you know spend less time in the recruiting process even for us as recruiters so what we found overall um with these with these criteria you know dev skiller you know kind of click checked all the boxes that we were looking for and especially on the recruiting function as well. Yeah. Yeah, for sure. I think, uh, yeah, having the, having the, having the developer spending that much time, you know, with the pen and paper and, and, and stuff like that, it, it's obviously not a very um, sustainable practice, I guess. No, forward. no, not for growth, for sure. not for an organization not that wants growth. growth. Yeah. 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 And I think, yeah, I mean, I think we will we'll get to that later in today's webinar, but, you know, even, even, even if it is you guys, people watching have a smaller company, like if you do have those sort of hiring ambitions and, and goals, you know, as, as you progress, it's, it's, it becomes more and more difficult for sure to be take, spending that much time in the process. Certainly. Um, all right. So, uh, thanks. Yeah. Very much for taking us through, through that there. Like I, I wanted to sort of, um, take a look at the decision-making process, like the, the kind of, you know the whole journey through um, coming to the decision of of choosing talent score. So I've I've we've got these uh, five questions here. So I thought I'd just fire them at you, and then you can let us know about it. Um, so how did how did the whole thing get kicked off? Like you told us about the process before, and you know what obviously needed to be to be changed. But how did the how did it all start off? Like so we um, well we were looking at a lot of different a lot of different tools. I came from I came from a bank. Uh, in in Canada, so I came from a large organization. They were using some other tools as well. So we were looking at a, a lot of different kinds of tools to be able to um, do a, a proper evaluation, right? Um, so that that's kind of how we did. And then DevSkiller was actually um, um, was was brought up by one of the developers on the team that had saw your um, either a demo or. Um, or saw an advertisement from from you all, and uh, he wanted me to kind of you know put that into the into the roster as well in terms of evaluation. So it was pretty. Uh, that, that's how that's how we got started. 
Yeah, and and I mean, you did touch on on the developer, but like, were there were there other any were there any other sort of parties like HR or recruit? Was anyone? Yeah, yeah. Well, T, yeah, T, yeah. Uh, our team, Tina at HR, she she was also uh, involved, and she actually knew of of your tool as well, and said, you know, why don't you take a look at this one as well? Because there was like, there's all kind, there's all kinds out there now, right? So yeah, um, sure. that that you can look at, and then she said, why don't you just you want you throw this one in the mix? Um, yeah, and then I said, great. I said, let's um. Let's do that. Yeah, and and when like uh in in this sort of stage, like when when you know the, the initial idea was born and stuff like that, like when you got to the process of elimination, let's say, like how did that sort of you know before before finally deciding, but like who who was involved, uh, you know, in that point there? Like uh, was it obviously Tina and, and you mentioned developer as well, but who else was involved in the so decision? We also have like because because we're um I would say like more of a mid size kind of organization we have we also have the founders that that um that also want to make sure they get we get their buy-in and then people from the leadership team in terms of getting their buy-in as well of course my buy-in is also um is also something that we want to we want to look into so there was it was a it was a true group effort in terms of who who we wanted to um you know who we want when the decision made was made to go forward with with a tool who you know what would what would be that yeah and and like without obviously naming 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 names but was there a process of elimination or, or trying out different tools before you you landed on on testing? yeah so we tried a, we tried a couple of different ones um the one thing if i can even add that stood out on with uh, with uh, Dev Skiller, I know it's, it's Talent Score. I know I keep I keep saying Dev Skiller. So, yeah, but Dev, Dev Skiller, the Talent Score is the name of the, the Talent solution. Score is the yeah, name Dev now. Skiller but um, yeah. I was I was I was the OG right on the Dev Skiller side. Yeah, yeah. Pre pre <laughs> name change, I think. I pre think, name uh, change, yeah. yeah. But sure. um, for for one of the, one of the things was that there was a, a customizable feature in terms of being able to create your own assessment, which was actually very key. Uh, which a lot of the others didn't have. Um, it was they were already preset. Like the preset ones that that uh, Town Score has actually are, are are pretty darn good. But mm-hmm. we have we have, of course we have some creative people in, on the team, and, and they're like, hey, if I can create our own, then then why not? So it was one of the one of the 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 things that that was tipping. Also also like it was also the um, um, the process, the process of 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 just connecting with with you all at Talent Score, which was which was a lot more smoother, right? So yeah. um, that yeah. that made that made it that made it uh, that made it very easy to make a decision. Yeah, I think I think many of our customers um, enjoy the the customizable tests. I think not not just because. Um, like obviously we do have our, our predefined test, but but having a customized test gives people that like companies the ability to, you know, make it exactly how how they how they want, you know, for the particular um, opening and stuff like that. So I think that's what a lot of a lot of our customers enjoy um, in with that particular feature. Um, I think that's a good way to sort of segue into, into this next question, which was like the initial reaction. Like, was there any any like you know, it's when whenever there's a change, there's always obviously going to be a little bit of um, you know like difference of opinions or anything like that was there anything like that when you guys when you guys initially uh there um, was implemented you know i i think well everyone was on board so it it, it made the the initial reaction was quite good from like was quite positive from from all the you know for especially from on a business point when we're looking at in terms of saving the saving the money it was it was a no-brainer in terms of when we started so the initial reaction was was very positive in, in that respect saving saving money per per hour per um um per developer you know the the there's there was a the great thing is is the um uh, the you know the anti duplication i think it was the anti duplication anti plagiarism kind of feature which helped you know and it was everyone just kind of looked at it and said you know what this is actually a really good feature one one other feature that that um and this 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 will kind of dump it, jump into a little bit more on the I'll throw an easter egg out there in terms of tips right now which is okay but before, um, before we get before we get to them later <laughs> yeah we, I yeah I know we have one later but there's there's actually there's actually one there's a couple things actually you know I'll save it for I'll save it to keep it oh, no, no, the more the, the more the more the merrier let, let, let's let's Can I throw an now. easter egg out there okay I'll yeah, throw an absolutely. easter egg out there so one thing is is that I've been doing is we can 
which is which is brilliant, is that it it shows the IP address of where the person has taken the the um, the, the technical challenge. So yep. some people have been have tried. I'm not going to say and and some people have tried. Like if I know they've been taking the the technical assessment, say in so Toronto, Ontario is a, a pretty large province. So um, in turn, within, within the greater GTA, there are lots of little districts. So one of them is Mississauga, for example. So um, if someone I know is in Mississauga and then they their IP address shows that it's in, in Europe or in the Asias, yeah. then yeah. clearly they've taken their, their um, what they've done is they've taken their invitation and sent it to somebody else to do the yeah. examination. So, and it even, it shows the IP address. So yeah. I, first thing I always look at, of course, is I look at the IP address to make sure it matches where the person is. Now I do give the person the benefit of the doubt because some people use um, different IPs because yeah. for example, I'm Greek, right? So um, yeah. I think um, I think my uncle uses an IP for, for Greece to get Greek, Greek stations via the internet, right? So, yeah. but what, yeah. I, what I do is I give them the, the benefit of the doubt by asking them, you know, how do you connect to the internet? They say, oh, I just plug in and then I'm, I'm good to go. So I use your own, you use your own internet service provider. Like, yes. I'm like, okay, now I know I gotcha. Yeah, but yeah, some, exactly. and it's, it's only been a couple, actually once that someone said, you know what, I connect to a, 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 a VPN first, right? Because I yeah. want to get yeah. something else. But yeah. Anyway, that's something else. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 yeah. For sure. Like, uh, um, I mean, obviously that would, would have been, you mentioned it earlier, like the, the concern with, your process was basically beforehand not really relying on internet stuff like that. So the, the plagiarism features I think can imagine would have been quite a um, you know determining determining factor for for particularly the developers and yourself as well as as you've alluded to. Yeah, yeah. look, we we try um, to eliminate as best as possible, right? Um, yeah. With it's the not help avoid, of- I mean, like some, some, obviously, they're, 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 sometimes it's it's uh, unavoidable, but I mean, yeah, we we do have a a, a range of different any plagiarism features to, to sort of catch people out. But I, I like your approach, you know, you give, give people the benefit of the doubt and then, you know, you've got them if, if <laughs> like you said, if you ask them. Just ask them a couple make... questions, you yeah, know, I'm a recruiter. Exactly. I'm asking questions anyway, right? So yeah, ask yeah, them exactly. a couple so questions you, and then. Butter, butter them up with a couple of easy questions and then slip that one in That's there. right. And then just hit them up with, <laughs> with the hard exactly. one. Exactly. Not a bad, not a, not a bad idea. That's a good, it's a good, I'm glad that we got that one in there before we got to the other tips. Um, and okay. So, so the, the last question here for, before we move along is who actually, who were the parties that made the final decision? So, yeah, that was, uh, it was the senior manager of, of HR. It was the founders as well. Yep. Um, and of course, myself, um, because, you know, um, these, the senior manager of HR, you know, has the budget <laughs> as well yep, as the, course. as well as the founders. Um, but yep. it was an easy and process. Then, it was a very easy process. So, yeah. And, and I like, uh, obviously you, you, you and the developers, I assume would have been the ones sort of, uh, assessing the capabilities of different tools and stuff like that with, with 100%. Uh, but with Tina, w- was she involved kind of at the beginning and end or was she involved throughout the entire process or how did that uh, look there? She was, she was involved in the beginning and then she, yep. she, she let me run with it. And then we just kind of, I gathered all the information and then, and then at the end for the final evaluation of, of who we're going to be going with. And then I, I provided, I provided some of the, of course, pros and cons of everyone, and, and who my recommendation was, which was which was yeah. Talent Score. Yeah, awesome. Okay, uh, well, thank you for that. We uh, we are moving a lot along. I haven't actually checked yet if there are any questions coming through the Q and A, but if there are any guys, um, yeah, please please fire them in because we do have only a couple of slides left. I think two or three. Um, so please do that if you have any questions. And uh, but yeah, like. We've had a look through the the process before implementing talent score, and you know the factors led to a change, needs of the IT team, even the decision making process. And now, obviously, you've you've implemented, you've been using talent score for for how long? Have you guys been um, using talent score now? I think it's been well, it's over a year. I know that um, because yeah. we we implemented it just before the. Um, in the middle of the pandemic, I guess the pandemic is like a watershed moment now for everything, right? So um, it's we implemented just before um, we were thinking about it, like we, the process was during it, and then yeah, we hit it just 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 kind of like in the middle of it. So 
I'd say yeah. I can't remember how long it's been now with that. So I, it's at least about a year. And yeah, a half. Well, that, yeah. Well, that was beginning of 2020. So that, that's yeah. actually quite some. Yeah, yeah. And I think we kind of uh, we, we we may have missed that point before that the need, obviously, with COVID happening and an in-person um, sort of recruitment task was we not couldn't very do that. feasible. Yeah, like yeah, it, it yeah, actually that, that fell kind of into place. Overnight. Yeah, it fell yeah. into place at a perfect time for us because. It was just at the time when everyone was leaving. We're like, okay, what are we going to do with with assessments? And we're like, well, we're already looking at this, so it it, it does help out. And um, you know, the results prove themselves, right? In terms of like what we've been saving. Um, and the uh, I know we got a question here uh, from um, Dale. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll get to we'll, 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 we'll hit those questions the after. Thank. Oh, yeah, we we after. got a, we got time saved at the end. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So, perfect. Yeah. Sorry. Could, yeah. Um, so yeah, so in terms of the results, like with the with the seventy seventy thousand dollars plus in savings, if you add up all the hours that we would have spent via uh, the developers' times, and especially now because now we're in full on uh, ramp up mode with developers, like we're our target is to do um, seven to eight technical interviews, right? So, and let me work backwards from that. So. With seven to eight technical interviews that we want to do, and by technical interviews, it's the um, the interview with our developers. So mm-hmm. they would have already done the dev skiller at this point. Yep. Now, yep. in order to help us expedite this, um, we we are hitting the the dev skiller. The dev skiller. I mean, so talent score has only been used is being used with the with the with the uh, new grads, uh, juniors. Uh, and intermediates, not so much the seniors, mm-hmm. right? Yep. Um, just so we can help expedite. Because if we were to do it for everyone, it would slow things down a little bit more, regardless yep. of the fact that it's actually working quickly, um, just yep. for the because of the sheer volume. And um, also, we found that sometimes senior developers, if they're 15, 20 years in, in working, they, 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 don't, they, don't, they don't want to do any assessment, right? Yeah, so they can, um, they can be reluctant for sure. They can be reluctant, so it's a little bit of a challenge there. So we're like, okay, you know what? We can we can we can fight that battle later, but let's just focus in on what we can focus on. And even with yep. that, we have to do um, at least. Oh my goodness! Well, if we're doing seven technical interviews, then they're um, the team's doing at least fourteen, uh, fourteen uh, HR based interviews. And then if they go well on the fourteenth for, for the seven. We're looking at about at least maybe eight, eight or nine, um, set, sending out eight or nine uh, evaluations, right? Just to mm-hmm. do that, if we're looking at that mm-hmm. per per week, um, and and now we just did a co-op run, right? So the co-op run that we just did recently actually even elevated that even more. They, we sent out, I believe, at one at, in one day, we sent out, I think eight eight assessments. Right mm-hmm. to to and, talent and that's eight, eight assessments to, to eight eight separate eight separate candidates, right? That's eight separate candidates. Yeah, yeah. yeah so yeah. because of yeah, because so of their the, their co op and, and and stuff like that. So it's um imagine imagine like that's a lot of like if we had to ask the de- the the technical team to do this, it, like 70, 70 plus is is a is a pretty accurate number at this point. I know once we start. Okay. Once we start slowing down on our recruiting, it's going to be a little bit less, but we're still going to be well above, to be honest with yeah. you and everyone here, it's going to be well above, you'll save so much money, it actually pays for itself, right? And, <laughs> and like it paid for itself in, in, I don't know, about a month or two. So we're using, yeah. in our eyes, we're using talent score for free, right? Yeah. Because yeah, because of yeah, what because, we're of, because of that 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 time save for sure. Yeah, and yeah, uh, yeah and and uh, could, could could you take us through kind of the yeah some of the other results? Yeah. So greater yeah greater developer productivity is another key feature. Like it kind of ties into the savings. So once we're saving more, the developers are are developing more and and making more money per hour for the organization. So um and and not only there's there's the money there's the money part which I know I'm. I'm kind of focusing on, but it's also the their own time as well because sometimes they would, um, sometimes they would they would be taking time out of their own day even afterwards if they say, you know what, I can't I can't look at this evaluation. I'll have to look at it at five o'clock, right? Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. that's their time, 
right? So um, yep. we want to we want to make sure we're giving back their time as well in terms of a proper work life balance, which kind of ties into the greater greater development developer productivity because you know at least they're in their mind they're more fresh because they finished their day they don't have to worry about it and they kind of continue on uh the re- and, reduce and was it can i can i just ask a point on, a question on that point what was was there any kind of resentment or um, maybe mm-hmm. not resentment might not be the right word but was there kind of disgruntledness or anything like that with with the developers having to spend that time like before this or was it you know what of- our guys are our guys are great. Like the the development team is actually really good. They they didn't say anything, but you can tell. Like you can. Okay. Like I know yeah. I know for myself. Same, same have, players. Same players. <laughs> yeah. Like I put myself yeah. in their shoes, and I didn't hear anything. And they were everyone was like very accommodating. But uh, you know, I just know it. I just like there's no yeah. way. There's no way. Yeah. I'm like, yeah. I mean, I'm, if you're spending spending all this extra time, you know. Yeah. I can. I can uh, yeah, it, it would work. People have families and stuff, right? So you want to, you know, they want to spend time with them. So I can understand that. We did reduce yeah. the time by 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 thirty three percent. You know, it's 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 just uh, that's just numbers. That's just pure numbers in terms of how how that was done. You know, uh, you're taking someone someone would have to take time off and come in and and like that's like a seven seven to eight day process depending on like in business days depending on the individual mm-hmm. oh i can't come in this day oh i can't come now because of this you know this is something that people can do on their own time and some if you send them on the weekend like before the weekend they can do it on the weekend you know developers they like to develop at all times so if yep. it's a it's yep. a little challenge and if it's not that long of a challenge like if it's a if it's a good like if it's an hour to an hour and a half, that's also something. And I know we can touch a little bit about this um, in, in terms of actually that's like point number five, it rolls into there in terms of candidate experience. But if you reduced it, like we reduced it down to like, we give the candidates three days, right. To complete yeah. it. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, um, and then we, we had a, of course, a higher test score completion as well uh, with, with this. And then the, Optimize, you know, in terms of optimizing candidate experience, it, it's huge because, um, especially in this market, and I think we're all in that same market right now, where developers are not very easy to find. Uh, you know, you want to make sure it's it's easy to do business with you. So, I used to work for an organization, um, and one of their key factors was how easy is it for me to do business with you. And then that was the model of the whole thing. And it was, it was fantastic because, and I take it to everything, everything that I do, because if you make something easy for someone to have business with you, then they're going to be happy. They're going to have a great experience. And, you know, that, that, that's one of the reasons why we, you know, we choose the certain companies that we choose to work with or buy certain products that we want to buy. Like everyone, you know, everyone, everyone goes on Amazon because it's easy to return stuff. It's easy to do business with them. Right. So it's, it's, it, and that's, that's part of the, the candidate experience. Right. And then providing them the, the, also not only the speed, but the flexibility to be able to do this from their own home just certainly enhances that. Yeah, and, and can you touch on like how like how how usually like how do the candidates usually um, take the tests? Because we, we have a couple of different ways. But how do you guys use use do it at, at so yeah? So we um, okay. So one of the, another another thing in terms of an Easter egg is we we shut off the um, the um, uh, the the oh, shoot. What's it called again? Oh, it's the oh the zip file. The zip for the uploading the zip, zip file. file. Yeah, so yep. we shut that off because what we find is sometimes, sometimes people when they um, if they don't have a good internet connection at home, or if something something happens, you know, it's the internet, right? Something something happens, then mm-hmm. they um, they're not able to upload their files. So we it kind of forces them to use the the browser IDE, uh, the ones that you that you all have provided, and um, yep. that's and it also um, I know some developers like using their own IDEs, but then uh, this actually, given the test and, and the, the the complexity of it, it's not that bad, right? So they can, they can, they can use a different IDE. They can use a different tool. It, it, like it, and the tools are, the tools are good anyway. So um, that's, that's essentially how we, uh, we set it up on our side yep, for them, yep, for, for yep. the, for the candidates to do the test. And we find that uh, we get better results on that. 
Yeah. Cause some, also, sometimes we'll get zeros. Right. And then, yeah. And we're like, there's no way, there's no way this is yeah. a zero. Right. So. Yeah. 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 yeah for sure. Um, all righty. Uh, so I think we, we, uh, we've already been uh, lucky enough. I know we did some of these yeah. <laughs> already, but uh, I think, I think we haven't actually touched on all of the ones here, but uh, we do have this kind of slide here. I think, I think it's, it's as much practical tips um, from, from you, but also like, I think it's how you've been able to sort of uh, utilize talent score um, in addition with, with these little sort of tips that you've been, been mentioning as we've been going along. But uh, the first one, which we touched on briefly there, but maybe you could give us a little bit more background about that is how many, how many days you actually give candidates to submit a test. I know that you said it was three days now, but what, what was that process like before? So the, we used to give them almost a week to complete it. Right. Um, but what we found is um, given in, given this, in this talent market as well, that the people were, the people would shop for different roles right so then they would only take the tests of of the of the places where they where they wanted to go now again we want them we want us we we're hoping that we sold our organization well enough that they would want to do the the technical assessment right away but um what we found is we had a a, a more a, a larger drop off rate with more time. So I said, mm -hmm. well, let's, let's, let's go the opposite and see what happens. Right. Instead of giving them even more time, let's give mm -hmm. them less time. Right. So we gave, we gave the candidates less time. And then another thing that we did is when we wanted to send out the technical assessments, we would send them out on like a, we tried to, we tried to send them out as, as much as possible on a Thursday or Friday. So then that okay. way they would have like either the, um, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, right? Or they would have the Friday, Saturday, Sunday, right? In order to to do it. So then that way it kind of went into the weekend. You know, maybe they they're having a morning coffee. They want to just bang it out early in the morning, kind of thing, right? Um, yeah. So and we found that that tends to tends to work. Now now that we're ramping up even even harder, um, it's it's pretty much almost any time, but um, yeah. But what we found is that that tends to work best. If you can do it yeah. at that at those times and in, in with three days, we found for us it worked well. Yeah. And, and I mean, drop off like is, is I think, a problem that, that any recruiter or, or yeah, uh, that's, that's, company that's just the way it is. Deal with. So, any way you can minimize that, that's, I mean, there's no avoiding it, but if you can minimize it at a, you know at any cost, that's you know that's that's awesome. So, um, yeah. So, so we've got the, the next one here, which is the, I think we've kind of alluded to it at the last point there, but yeah. how you actually increased the, the the number of test completions. So yeah, you know, reducing the time obviously that's that's seen an uptick in the uh, in in the test completion rate. Um, and I think like uh, obviously three days is is the total, but I assume you're still getting candidates getting back to you sort of immediately. Do you, do you progress? Oh yeah, that, yeah, uh, we'll see, yeah, yeah. We we get candidates coming back to us. Um, oddly enough, it's always the uh, um, what you all find is the is the juniors and intermediates. Uh, sorry, the juniors, the the co-ops and juniors will do it like right away, as if it's like there's some kind of school assignment, yeah, and they'll just like homework they'll, or something. Yeah, they'll pound it out and get it done. And then as as you get more on the the senior candidates, so the intermediates, and then before when I was when I was even testing some of the seniors, they would probably they would usually go right to like the end. I'd get it on like either day two or near the middle of day three. That's what I found. Sure. Okay. Sure. Um, but again, they're working yeah. too, right? So. Yeah. They, I mean, they, they obviously got more, more on their places. And the other thing is it's pretty common for developers to be fielding multiple offers at once as well. So they might be taking That's right. one assessment from one company and taking another one at the same time. So can't get them all done at once. But uh, you did, you did touch on the, like the, Maybe this is a this is a good point to sort of just mention how you know the recruitment process looks because what what do you actually inform candidates about? Yeah, like, when so they first apply? Like, so what we usually tell them is okay. Obviously, they're having an HR interview with us. We do let them know that there's going to be a technical a technical challenge. Um, if if we decide to move forward, there'll be two other stages. One will be the technical challenge, and then mm -hmm. if they depending on the score of the technical challenge, they would then move into a technical interview with our team. So there's still going to be a deeper dive of a technical interview. The technical mm -hmm. challenge is just to just to just to ensure and 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 see can they actually code, because mm -hmm. what we're finding is um, and in this market is 
because everyone's using libraries and Google so much, a lot of people have forgot to actually just start coding, like just to do some mm-hmm. hardcore coding. And what we're finding is that like the basic code, like bare basics, right? Which is what we mm-hmm. do in terms of an, an evaluation on a technical assessment. So we let mm-hmm. the we let the candidates know that there's going to be a technical interview. It's going to be on like uh, linked list data structures, very simple code, um, nothing very complicated. But this tech, this this uh, the the uh, technical challenge, which is what we send out, will will prep them for that. Right. Mm -hmm. Um, Mm -hmm. So if they do well on that and are for us personally, we're looking at 70 percent and higher on our scores. And if there's anything close to 70, then then that's the only time actually uh, a a developer will do will will look at the code. But that's very few and far between. And even when they do it, it literally only takes one of our developers like five minutes because I just give them a chunk of code to just look at. I just I just copy paste it in Slack. I just send it to them and Slack okay. and say, yeah, I just say, what do you think of this code? What does it look, how does it, how do you, what does it look like? They say, oh, this person doesn't know what they're talking about or know what they're doing, or it actually looks pretty clean. Great. Okay. Yeah. I'm going to move forward. Yeah. So yeah there's, it's there's, an easy there's process. A buffers in there. Yeah. yeah, and, yeah. And this, but it's so fast. Yeah. And, and up to this point, like when you've gotten the, the sort of the, the technical assessment, you've sent that, you said the threshold is about 70%. There is a little bit of wiggle room there, but up until that point, who who's involved? Is, is this just just you in recruitment or are developers involved? No, in all it's just of that it's just it's just us. It's just us on the recruiting side. Um, the the beautiful thing about the the tool is is that it gives us the number. We take a look at it. We just move on, right? And then okay, um, we we have full um, full confidence from the from the development team and from the leadership team in terms of okay, this is. If this is this this is what it is, then and and how we did this just just so everyone again this is another uh, another another tip <laughs> kind of thing how we do this is keep them is, coming <laughs> is send send the send the assessment to your teams to to complete so if you're going to send something to somebody make sure that you know um, and again this is something that I've done always in my in the other organizations where I've worked at whenever someone says oh we're going to test them on something I always say okay what did your school what did your team score on this test and they're like oh we didn't do it I said so how am I supposed to know what I'm supposed to what I'm supposed to evaluate if your team is only scoring like say 60% on this and you're asking me for 70% that's not fair yeah right? we need to lower the lower the benchmark we need to lower the benchmark so what we did is we once we've, we once we complete the test, I give it to one of like I give it to about five five developers on a team, whoever can complete it at that time, and then usually about three of them will will complete it. Once they come back, and this is where we came up with the seventy percent, right? So they scored seventy percent. A lot of them scored hundred percent, but um, yeah. then the, the only one was like there was the one at like sixty percent. I'm like let's just hit seventy percent then. Let's just do seventy percent. And I said that way we're 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 kind of good. And that's yeah. what I would suggest you also do when you do that. That's a very, very key factor in, 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 in doing the evaluation and making sure you're getting people of the same caliber in your organization. Yeah, for sure. I, for, 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 for obviously for that reason, but I think we, we find a lot, we hear this quite often that, that, you know, developers within, within a company actually don't mind testing themselves on the challenge anyway. Oh, they like love they it. Kind of they like, love it. Love, like doing the challenge themselves. So you know, just to see how, you know, uh, obviously the, there'd be, you know, bragging rights for getting a hundred percent or whatever it is. So, yeah. Let's just say we didn't have any pushback when we asked people for volunteer. Let's just like, yeah. that was, it was, it was such a neat. Now, if you have people that are scoring at a hundred now, pe- people say if they scored a hundred, then we're going to want a hundred percent. No. So um, part as part of recruiting, we should be advising individuals that um, if we're going to be bringing people in at, hundred percent, regardless of what's going on. I don't want to turn this into a recruiting call, but it's, it's um, we want to bring people in that with for potential as well. So we want the 70% mm-hmm. people. If you get a hundred percent person for everything, then they're probably going to leave in about a year or two, because they're going to be bored. And there's going to be no growth for them. So yeah, if you cool. find someone at 70% score, 70%, at least, you know, there's room for growth in that person. For sure. Yeah, absolutely. For sure. Um, oh, okay. And so uh, yeah, the last one here is this, this, Call it Slack hack. So here, yeah, how, did, how yeah. do you use Slack in in your so streamline? we um as a recruiting function we have it. So then that way it goes into our recruiting folder. So then that way 
everyone understand well, there's two ways we get it we get an email as well right but the the slack comes in and then it goes to everyone everyone can see it right away and then we can action it if we need to or someone's away or someone's busy then we can we can dis- either disposition or move people along in the process and, get, and keep them moving yeah yeah coming back to the, the the point of cutting you know cutting times of process you know the it's it's essential to be quick you know if, if you've got it's a super a high fast. quality candidate yeah you want to be as, as quick as possible to progress through um all right uh, unless you've got any other sort of hidden hidden i do i do i have one more i have one more it's in my back pocket i'm gonna pull it out right now all right yeah one cool. more. Um, a so one. i've um and we've we've integrated um uh, te- we've integrated the assessment into our applicant tracking system with it which is jazz now i haven't used this process in um, the, in a while recently, because we've we've been flying pretty quick, but from time to time, for example, if we're looking for something very niche and specific, and um, I know that applicant tracking systems, you can ask questions in them and say, you know, for example, I'm just going to say, I, I'm I'm using PL SQL because it's top of my head right now. Um, have you used PL SQL? How many years? Blah, blah, blah. You put everything in there mm-hmm. and then you can filter them out through those questions. Well, what I've done in the past um, with more very specific um, questions is I use the, the, uh, the multiple choice section of the, of the assessments and I simply add two or three technical questions that if they don't know this, I don't even want to speak to them, right? Like I, I, I as the HR don't want to speak to them, right? Because it's just going to waste my time and I want to, I want to connect with somebody else. So what, what, what I did is I integrated it with jazz. So as soon as the person applies, they have to finish this assessment and then it actually puts the results in jazz. So then yeah. once, once I look at the candidate, it gives me the results and it's, you only want three questions though, because if you put more than three questions, no one's going to do it. Right, because you yeah. want three quick bullet, right, right. bullet point. Yeah, because everyone's really light, nice and quick. If if they don't know this, then then forget about it. Um, mm-hmm. And then and then you just kind of move forward. So that's just something if you want to do a little bit more of a refined search of sure. your own selection process, who you're going to be speaking with. Uh, that's that's kind of setting aside out. So I'm actually using it as well for myself as a, as as. Um, as evaluation to, yeah, yeah, as, yeah, as yeah. a screening tool right it can be used yeah. as a screening tool and it's fantastic for that it brings the results right into the right into the profile in jazz which is cool awesome awesome yeah i, I yeah well, thank, thanks so much for for taking us through through those i i'm hoping there's going to be another one by the end but we'll see if we get to another one see if yeah. something else pops into your mind but uh we we will uh before we get into our q a we maybe we can just sort of summarize here we we, uh, we have touch on a few of these points here um but in a few words what what is it that you guys have sort of loved most about talent you know um one of the key things that we looked at that i looked at as um as a senior manager coming in was especially for us being a, a tech company and the landscape of the of the talent how it is right now is really emphasizing the the candidate experience um regardless even if the candidate didn't doesn't do well or or does do well we want to make sure that when they leave they say you know what i maybe either great i got the job at jonah group i had a grant i had a great i had a great time in the process or you know what unfortunately i didn't make it but it was it was a it was a quick friendly efficient process and you know even though i didn't make it i would highly recommend if maybe one of my friends uh applied right so yeah this this tool is helping us in this process Right. So this accompanied with our process that we have right now in terms of ensuring that kind of candidate experience is, is truly helping the brand as Jonah group. Yeah. Yeah. Being employee, efficient. Employee, for sure. And like employee branding, like it's, it's, you know, the, the customizable you test, your reputation. of course. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. The, the, the customizable tests really helps uh, on this. Uh, the, the team really loves it. You know, uh, I think we've only done a couple of them because of the time that they were able to spend. But um, the, the two that we do have are, are pretty good. Um, you know, we, we, we limited, you know, we have the in-browser ID, which, which, is, which is helping out the candidates. Again, candidate experience, which is what we like. Um, the manual work for reviewing has been 
eliminated at this point, which is which is fantastic, which is great. It goes it goes with exactly everything that I that I stand for. Um, the you know unlimited test invites. So um, I I, I'll, I got something for the end that that I'm going to share, but um, there's yeah, it's it's actually a really good one. Um, okay. The unlimited test kind of plays into that. The uh, anti plagiarism feature, which is really cool. Um, you know, ease of use to navigate is is good. Um, and the the customer service. Every time I have a question on on uh, you know um, on a test or something like that, uh, I get I get a response usually with it. It's actually I'm the one who actually is longer responding after because I'm too busy than than the the help coming to. So well, you, got, you, you do have your hand full this year. <laughs> yeah, they, I do have my hand full this year. Yeah, but the 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 hand like so many times I been replied back and, and I'm like, oh shoot, I can't even answer this. Like I thought I thought at least they get back to me like the next day, but no, it's usually the same day. So uh they, it's, it's a pleasant surprise. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they do they do work very hard in in our customer support as well. I think I think one of the most important things is is the in browser idea which we mentioned, which we rolled out um JetBrains for for a number of technologies um in the browser, which which we're finding um a lot of our customers are enjoying and the candidates as well. So um, if anyone would like to find out more information about that, you, you can just drop us an email. We, we can, we've got some material on that there. Um, all right. Well, I am I believe we are at the time for Q&A and I did see a couple of questions come through. So unless there's something you want to start with, George, or would you like me to? Yeah, I got, together? I got one last thing that, that, that okay. you all may want to take advantage of um, is so I, at the beginning, at the in the beginning, uh, so at, at the at the beginning of the whole when we when we first we first brought on talent talent score um, into the um, into the team. So what we did is I had a, I had an idea which which uh, actually the y'all helped me with immensely, which was um, setting up a a page like a landing page for for candidates to come in and do a test. Right. Mm -hmm. So what I did was um, I made a, a, a with the marketing team on our side. What we did is we created a competition. Mm -hmm. Right. So and then with the competition, we use that landing page for people to come in and just do the test, do a test, whether it be a, it was a Java. So we allowed them to choose either Java or .NET because those are the two shops that we have. So we were able to um, collect because at the time it wasn't very busy. We were able to collect, I believe, um, I went through my people, it was about a hundred and almost 200 people that have, that completed the assessment. And then we gave the top score, um, like, uh, I believe it was a, a $300 gift card. And then second place was a Bluetooth speaker. And then third place was a basket of chocolates, like, right. So mm -hmm. some would argue that's like a first place caught prize right but uh yeah exactly but, yeah of course but um but that's what we did and so what we with that it did a couple of things it helped us with marketing on our side for our own organization it also helped us identify um people that were interested in the organization and it actually shortlisted for me candidates that did very well during the technical assessment and now i had a pool of candidates so when i was ready at least i know on the technical side they were already pre-evaluated. So all yeah. I simply did was just call them back up and headhunt them and say, Hey, listen, are you looking to move? You know, I, I heard you did well during our, uh, during our competition. Unfortunately, you didn't make it in the top three, but you still scored very well. You know, just, you know, you could kind of get into any kind of, you know, in insert, insert sales pitch here as a recruiter. Yeah, right? for, for sure. Yeah. I mean, we, we, we hear, you know, customers using, the tool for hackathons and exactly exactly for that purpose for, yeah. for you know it's a good little uh sourcing technique to, to find some developers because ev everybody does like to, to to test themselves and challenge themselves and you know if it does eventuate in some some new candidates you know even better um all right so uh i'll jump into q a now i've just got to open up our first question so just bear with me as i do that Okay, so we have this question here. So how important is company culture when hiring developers? Um, well, and for us, it's extremely important. Um, we, so as an organization, the, there's a couple, there's a couple of, I'm just gonna kind of go back. Let me go back. So 
in terms of the six, because of the success of the organization, company culture is a key part of it. Um, so for us, it's paramount. Um, to give you an understanding of this, uh, we don't have any, we've been around for 21 years. I've been here for about three years now, but we've been around, the Jonah Group has been around for 21 years with zero failed projects. So mm-hmm. I know it's I know it's difficult to believe, <laughs> but um, we have, yeah, we essentially have zero failed projects. And this is this is because of the culture of the organization. So it is a very, a very big factor when it, when it comes to uh, in the recruiting process. Yeah. Yeah. Um, I'm sorry. I've, I've had to switch off the, the presentation momentarily just, just to get to these other questions. But thank, thanks for us for answering that one. So um, I've got another one here. So thanks so much. That's a great quick question. In your opinion, how important is employer branding for hiring developers? I guess we did touch on it briefly. Oh yeah. Much, huge. Uh, yeah. Huge. You want, you want to, what you want to do is if you, if everything that you're working with in terms of the tools is slick and is um, is seamless and is easy to work with. Well, that reflects on how easy it is to work within the organization, within your bosses, within other people within the organization, and other you know uh, people in the leadership team. We, we have a we have a relatively flat organization, so anyone can actually talk to one of the founders, um, which is pretty cool. So this actually is 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 a great tool for that. It kind of helps emulate what what we are like as an organization awesome um and yeah we do we do have one more here um and this question is uh could you talk about about the co-op was set could you talk about apologies could you talk about how the co-op was set up and what it looked like from the candidate's perspective and what insights were you able to get from it uh so the co-op was set up well it was we have basically we look we went through the 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 easy questions right and we went we went through the questions that were more um based on fundamentals uh because that's what we look at when we look at co-ops obviously they don't have a lot of well they have some project experience if they've been doing some some more so some more co-op work so the co-ops that we look for are usually the third and fourth year co-ops uh we don't usually dive into the two the the one or two year co-ops so we, we already are, are looking at individuals that have some kind of experience or some kind of project work. So um, we set it up in such where it's still the easy section within, within DevSkiller A. Um, and then B, it's, it's usually Java-based. We look for a Java, a Java technical challenge or a C-sharp, depending on the individual. But a lot of kids have been using Java or have been taking Java courses and uh, it's usually about an hour to an hour and a half max in terms of the evaluation. That's what it also looks like. And then um, in, in terms of insights from it, some of the, a lot of the students were, were, were replying right away. Like I was mentioning before, um, they would respond and do it like pretty much the same day. Sometimes like the hours after we get off the phone with them, which was actually quite funny. Um, and what we what we usually do is when we're on the phone with the can with the candidates or with the co-ops, we send the um, we send the link to them at the same time, um, so that way we know that they received it. Um, so that's that's that, those are some of the. I hope that answers your question in, in terms of insights on the on the candidate side. I know that they a couple of the co-ops that I have connected with after when they've joined us said that they did like the process. Um, in terms of the in terms of dev uh, dev skiller and, and using it, so it was um, it was it was an easy process. It was it was a seamless process for them, so it was nice and easy. Awesome. Well, thank you very much, uh, George. I just double check. I think that was all the questions. It was, um, and we are basically right at time. So I'd really like to first of all uh, take this opportunity to thank you very much, George, for joining us today. Um, no problem. Both both for taking the time and also. Uh, sharing your your nuggets of, of wisdom and, and tips there for, for everybody here. Um, and I'd also like to thank everybody for joining us. Um, now, if anybody would like to find out anything more about today or about Journey Group's story, or perhaps to learn more about Talent Score, you can do that easily by just dropping us an email at hello at devskiller.com. Um, and we'll get back to that uh, to you guys very, very, very quickly. Also, um, one last reminder, I will be sending you guys a post-webinar survey that will be coming through in the next 
next couple of minutes. So if, if you could take the time to, to fill that in, we'd, we'd really appreciate that. But um, yeah, we, we basically hit the nail on the head with time. I think it's exactly one hour as, as we started. So once again, George, thanks so much for joining us. Um, and thanks everyone no else for, for, for thanks. coming along and see, see you next time. Have a great day, everyone. See you later, guys.